Okay, thank you very much. Can you hear me? Does this thing work? Oh, that's for that. So I still have to shout. Okay. Uh, so how many of you are like beginners at this? Okay. Sorry about the rest of you. I have to cater to beginners. <laughs> the lowest common denominator here. So I'm going to start with a test. And the test is, what is the purpose of taxes? Sorry. Yep, that's okay. You're late for the exam. You didn't know we we're going to start with the exam. Okay. Uh, any, anybody, don't answer, but just how many people think they know the answer to that? Okay, now should I like, uh, where should I start? We'll go alphabetically. Anybody begin with A? No. Okay, so you have the first hand up. Purpose of taxes. Uh, to induce labor. To induce labor. Anybody else? That, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay. I'm looking for something a little more uh, specific. Yeah. Control purchasing power. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. Okay. Who was going to say, other than Jan, to create unemployment? The purpose of taxes is to create unemployment, right? What is unemployment? Unemployment is people looking for work who can't, at least initially, find it. Who can't find the work. And, and it's not just work. It's about paid work. Like I say, I've got lots of jobs in the Virgin Islands. If anybody wants to come down, I'm just not going to pay anything. Okay, so is there still unemployment in this country? Yeah. It's about paid work. Okay. And so... The purpose of taxes is to create people looking for paid work. And paid work is unemployment by definition. So there can't be any unemployment, okay, without the tax to begin with. Okay, so let, let's, um, so why is, so now we come down to, am I too elementary for some of you guys? We all right so far? Right. Okay, so why does the government tax? Because it wants to provision itself in the first instance. The government wants soldiers, it wants legal system, it wants to buy vote. Oh, no, I didn't say that. There's all kinds of reasons. The government wants to provision itself, right? Okay, so how does it do that? So some of you are better at history than I am, but one way is to just conquer somebody and take slaves. Then you can provision your government, build your public works. Or you can, uh, the British, you'd wake up in the morning after drinking with a bump on your head and you're on a boat, right, in the British Navy, you press sailors. And what we consider more civilized, which apparently is what the Egyptians did, I think, is we create a tax on something nobody has, and then we offer jobs that pay the thing they need to pay the tax so that they, we can move their labor from private domain to public domain. Okay, so number one, we want to provision government. We do it with a tax, which creates unemployment. Okay, and then spending shifts the resources from private to public domain. It's at the point of spending when the real tax is paid. That's when people actually move from private sector to public sector. Okay, spending. The otherwise, in this case, worthless currency. Okay. And so I was just on a little grassroots tour of Italy. And to, and to explain this, I would take out, I started off the same way, and I said, anybody want a job that pays in my business card? And I said, I hope you have enough sense not to take it because these things are worth nothing, right? You can check eBay, they are worth nothing. Okay. I said, but, so now I can't hire anybody with these. But now I'm going to tell you there's one more thing going on. There's only one door out of here. There's a guy there with a 9mm. He works for me. And you can't get out of here without one of these cars. Now you're all unemployed. Now you're all looking for paid work in this card and you can't find it. Because there isn't any way to get these cars. 
Now I offer you all a job. If you stay afterwards for 10 minutes and help clean the room up, clean up the room, polish the floor, I'll pay you one card for working 10 minutes. Okay. Now you will all, now you will all, now I can spend these otherwise worthless cards, right? You need them to pay the tax to get out of the room. Okay, now let's say there's 50 people in this room. And I decide I'm only going to spend 40 cards. Okay. Ten of you guys aren't going to be able to find work. You're going to be unemployed. Okay. And let me show you something else. And I'll show you. The, see the back of this card? There's no gold behind this card. Okay. But you're still willing to work for it, even with no gold behind it. Why? Because you need it to pay the tax. Right. And you are unemployed. So now... There, if I, if there's 50 people, I only spend 40. There are going to be 10 unemployed at least. Somebody might earn more than one, but there are going to be at least 10 unemployed. And there's no, no possible way they can get a job, no matter how many structural reforms I make. No matter what level of education they might be, you might all have advanced degrees in cleaning the floor. Okay, but you're still not going to be able to get a job. Now, it would be better if you did. I'm going to have a better floor from those 40 people working and 10 others breathing down their neck, but it's not going to solve unemployment. Now, why else might you want this card? You might want to save one. People walk around with cash in their pockets. Now, why would any of you want to save one? Well, maybe you want to take one home to prove to your husband or wife that you're actually in an economics lecture. Right? <laughs> So let's say you all decided, you know, you wanted to save one card. Well, now, when I offer jobs, I'm going to spend at least 100 cards because you're all going to have one to pay the tax and one to save, right? Take home to prove you are here. Well, what if I only decide to spend 90? Unemployment. Why? Because I'm not spending enough to cover the need to pay the tax and the need to save. Is there any other possible reason there could be unemployment? And the answer is no. Okay. So you got the government, the United States government, taxes $3 trillion. Spend, actually it's three and a half this year. Taxes three and a half trillion dollars. Spends four trillion dollars. It spent five hundred billion dollar deficit. It's spending more than it's uh, collecting, right? There's still unemployment. What does that mean? It hasn't spent enough to cover the tax bill and the need to save. It probably needed to spend $5 trillion to cover all the savings desires, to not have the unemployment. Okay. All right. So the point is, unemployment is always and necessarily a case where the government has not spent enough of its currency to cover the tax bill and the need to save. Because it means there's still people willing to work for that thing to get out of here. Now, the answer to that is either to spend more or tax less. It's any, that's a political decision. All right? But that's always going to be the case.